A DC man is in jail tonight accused of punching his girlfriend's four year old son in the stomach. Uh, police say that punch led to the little boy's death. Jennifer Donnellan joins us live with details on the investigation. Jennifer. Gordon, what a troubling day. On Monday, the little boy died. Tuesday, the autopsy came out that it was murder. Early this morning, the girl's boyfriend was arrested. He was just in court. Moments ago, we spoke with a grandmother who saw the alleged killer for the very first time. It was terrible. I've never seen him before. And the first time that I see him, this is the person that murdered my grandbaby. ABC 7 News obtained this picture of Peter Hendy after he was arrested just after midnight. The 33 year old is accused of punching his girlfriend's four year old son, Kamari Taylor, so hard he severed the boy's liver and fractured his ribs. The blows were fatal. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Neighbor Christy Gardner could yeah, barely speak really upon learning the little boy she used to color with was murdered. I mean, he was just a great kid. I mean, just a a sweet, sweet child. On Monday, our cameras captured the boy's mother walking out of the apartment building on Nanny Helen Burroughs Avenue in Northeast, grief stricken. That same morning, according to court documents, she left her son with Hendy and went to work. Hendy later told detectives he took the boy outside so he could ride his scooter. He said when he admonished the boy for riding too far away, the boy allegedly said, I don't have to listen to you. You're not my daddy. Hendy told detectives he then punched the boy twice in the abdomen for being a quote smart mouth kid and told him you're going to listen to me. He was well mannered just the sweetest little boy. After punching the four year old Hendy told detectives the boy kept riding his scooter for about 30 to 45 minutes but then he noticed the boy's face was sweating profusely and his legs began to shake. Hendy told detectives he took the boy inside gave him some water and put him in bed and then went outside to sell marijuana. Hendy told police he came back an hour later and the boy had a quote blank look but he went back outside to resume selling marijuana. When he came back in, the boy was unresponsive. He was just too sweet. He was just a sweet child. Now, when rescue crews arrived, they said that they found the boy unconscious and not breathing on the floor of the bedroom. We've learned that those rescue crews had to be debriefed. They were so troubled by what they saw inside that apartment. As for the mother and the contact she had with the boyfriend that day, according to court documents, he allegedly called her several times, told her that uh, he handled the situation, and then later called her and told her that her child was ill and that he had called 911. Reporting live from Northwest, I'm Jennifer Donnellan, ABC. 7 News.